for issues. Um, and it seems that's one of the issues that could kind of fix all the issues, is talking about reparations. Here, here's what I'm for, equity and opportunity. And I wake up every day fighting for that. Um, and I do it in such a way that I think benefits all of us. But when you look at the issue of, of health care, for example, A all gravity any day above ground live it so you already know what to do share like and subscribe that's right share like and subscribe because I'm not like other YouTubers I'm different damn I should have been a pastor boy mm, mm, mm. you could sell folk a pastor could sell salt to a slug and sex to a whore lord have mercy so that was old Raphael Warnock, the duly elected senator for Georgia. One of two. The other one is John Orsoff. He came over to DeKalb County. He had a town hall. He was asked a lot of questions. He got up there and he, he pasteurized. But then this guy that you saw at the beginning, Dick Smith, Richard Smith, who was a former Democratic Congressional House of Representative and Senate candidate, obviously didn't win. But he asked about reparations, because of course we know reparations is the hot button topic everywhere on social media, even in the mainstream news, conversations out on the street. Everybody got their opinion on reparations. From the B1 folks like myself to the new black media, all the way down to the white supremacists. They all have their opinions. So he decided to ask Warnock what his opinion was. And you heard what he said. Y'all yeah, gets up every day talk about, uh, I think about reparations. But see, when you talk about health care. Huh? So you get up every day thinking about reparations but you're worried about health care specifically medicaid i'm going to do the biggest favor for y'all i got three minutes of his speech shout out to tamara johnson Sheely. she sent it to me on twitter so please get out there 15 more days we got to get her we got to get her to beat this this idiot and get her to november but yes i got a lot of the speech, three minutes worth. I'm going to break it down because this fool said a lot and didn't say nothing. So let's begin. It would help all of us if we could get Medicaid expanded, if we could get a fix. But it would have a disproportionate impact on communities of color. All right, let's just put this to bed, Warnock, because I need to kill this talking point. You give FBAs and everybody else reparations meaning people who were descendants of American slaves don't have to worry about Medicaid. They would be funding their own research, taking care of their own problems. Government out of it. Uh, invest in jobs. When we invest in infrastructure, um, when we in invest in a whole range of these, ish of these things, when we deal with the expanded child tax credit, um, which helps 97% of families with children. But when you look at the racial wealth gap, it, is a, it, it, it will be a great help to communities of color and other marginalized people. My bad, folks, if you heard sound effects in the back, that was me recording the screen, and I guess it picked me up. But this fool... <sighs> Okay, so investing in infrastructure and jobs and the child tax credit. Okay, again, like I said previously, you give FBAs, descendants of American slaves, ADOS, freedmen, you give them reparations. You don't have to worry about that stuff. Jobs will be created because those that group, that dynamic, will be able to invest in themselves, start businesses, invest in businesses, invest in infrastructure. There's a lot of buildings still needing in this country. 
would be nice if black people could get a slice of that pie or several. <clears throat> the child tax credit. I don't want to say it, folks, but it's a scam. This is just your money. They're just giving back out to you to shut you up. You're going to get taxed on it later. The best thing you could do with the child tax credit is take that money and save it. Invest it. That's the best thing you can do for it because that that devil's coming to collect. But let Warnock and Stacey Abrams tell it. Oh, you're just helping out communities of color. That again. That COC. Crap on crap. That's what I call it. There. What did I say before, folks? A lot of us had to take on. I mean, a lot of folk do. But if, if we were able to get rid of that of the first $50,000 of student debt. That'll help black families, brown families, white families, a whole lot of families. Know what else would help families, sir? Instead of you worrying about every other community of color, how about you recertify high school, sir? How about you put those bills out there? Let's get these schools recertified for trade jobs. There's a whole bunch of trade jobs that can't get filled because we don't have the capabilities and we don't have the training. How about what, what's wrong with having an 18 year old with a few years of nursing under their belt getting ready to go into medical school? Hmm? What's wrong with that? What's wrong with getting some welders out there? HVAC. Hell, HVAC. They, I told you I talked to, to someone who has an HVAC company. There's they're They do anything to get workers. You talk about making over $80,000 in two years. There you go. Y'all are worried about. Oh, my God. God, the, the simplest solutions are the most avoided. I don't get this. Oh, my God. But if you also reparations, you can fund that. You could have. Like I said before, businesses, you could have them go back into these high schools like they used to do, have apprenticeships. Hell, you can even have them sponsor the programs. Oh. I'm just the guy that with the mic and I figured that out. It's funny as hell, folks. It's funny as hell. You vote for these people and these people just how Jim Clyburn says it, all they do is sloganize. Communities of color, racial inequities, communities of color, people of color, BIPOC. We are not the same. Black people have unique problems. We are not the same. Black people face it worse than other groups. We are not the same. And for you to go to DeKalb County where there is a large black population and say that BS near the end of your shift, the end of your debate well no it's not it wasn't a debate near the end of your town hall <clears throat> knowing those people are tired because they were sitting there listening to you talk for around 75 minutes before this question came up and you were taking questions before so you already lulled them to sleep a lot of this bypassed them because if you did this at the beginning a lot of them probably would have said hey when are you talking about communities of color? But then again, if you looked up on who was in there, it was a lot of old folk. You know, those people who led a lot of the young people astray. Didn't teach them to look for the trick bag. So you're going to go home and be like, ooh, it's good. I heard Mr. Warnock, Senator Warnock, I heard him, and he said everything that I wanted to hear. Mm. You know, I'm going to make sure to go to Ebenezer this Sunday, and I'm going to make sure to put in my a little extra, a little extra, not too much, because, you know, I got the Medicaid coming up, and the Social Security don't hit to the first of the month, but just a little bit extra, just a little bit. Wait, wait, my... My, my cheer ain't going to, they going to give me the mothers they give. Maybe they give me a gift card. I put the gift card in the plate. Yeah, I'm going to put the gift card in the plate. Because Santa Warnock sure, sure needs it because he fighting for me. Negro, please. 
and y'all and y'all fixing to go out there and vote for it. this is who white liberals t- are telling us to go vote for the summer is going to be hot it's going to be so much fun folks the new black media that trade is coming they know it's coming warnock you on the list you stacy maxine the whole black caucus all y'all are gonna be toxic by november i damn sure gonna see to that but let me get up out of here you already know what to do share like and subscribe that's why share like and subscribe because i'm not like other youtubers i'm different take care stay safe i'm out and please don't be like that negro don't do it (laughs) 